Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled 3D Editor Viewport Window. A large portion of your modeling work will be accomplished within the 3D Editor Viewport Window, so I think it's a good idea to take a closer look at it. The 3D Viewport Editor Window contains an additional hidden panel located on the right. You can expose this hidden panel by clicking on the small plus sign icon located near the top right corner of the Editor Window. This opens the hidden panels of Blender controls. You can expand this panel by moving your cursor to the edge of the panel until you see a double arrow and then left click and drag the panel open. Both of the 3D viewport editor windows can be hidden or exposed. To hide the panels, move your cursor to the edge of the panel until you see a double arrow and then left click and drag the panel completely closed. Here I'll close the left panel as well. You can at any time open these panels by clicking on the plus sign icon located near the top left or right corners of the 3D editor window. Here I am opening both panels. The 3D viewport panels on both the left and the right are context sensitive. Note that when I select a cube object and tab into edit mode, the panels change based on this context. As noted in another video tutorial, it's possible to split the 3D viewport editor into multiple viewports. To split an editor window, place your cursor in the upper right corner of the editor window. There's a splitter widget there that looks like a ridged thumb grip. When your cursor turns into a cross, left click and drag your cursor horizontally to create a vertical split. You can also create a horizontal split by placing your cursor in the splitter widget until a cross appears and then left click and drag vertically to create a horizontal split. You can join any two vertical windows that have the same width or any two horizontal windows that have the same height. To do this, place your cursor on one of the splitter widgets in the upper right corner of the window and left click and drag the cursor into the other window editor window. Now before releasing your left mouse button, you'll see a large grayed out arrow that indicates which direction the change should be made. With the left mouse button still pressed, you can move your cursor from one window to the other to decide which should become the joined window. For instance, here I will join the two horizontal windows. Here I will join the two vertical windows into one 3D window. Blender provides a convenient pre-packaged quad view for the 3D Editor Viewport window. The quad view can be used with or without the side panels. To access the built-in quad view, click View, Toggle Quad View. This creates four views of the 3D viewport, the top, front, right, and camera views. Notice that with the quad view, there is a single editing panel on either side of the quad views that references all of the views. Here I will open up both 3D viewport editing panels. This is a very useful arrangement as editing in one viewport is updated in the other viewports. For example, I'll select the cube object in the front viewport, then click on the scale button in the left object's tool panel, and notice that as I scale the cube in the front view, the display is updated in the other views. Here I will select the Object Context button in the Properties Editor window, and then the Transform panel increase the X-axis rotation. Note that all four viewpoint parts automatically update their display. The Toggle Quad view is a true toggle. Uh, I'll click on View Toggle Quad again and return to a single view. The Quad view has a keyboard shortcut, uh, Control Alt Q, or on the Mac this is Control Option Q. Repeating this shortcut, I can easily move back and forth between the Quad and the single viewports. I'll leave my 3D Editor window in Quad View. Another useful keyboard shortcut for displaying 3D Editor window is Full Screen. The shortcut is Control Up Arrow. The return is Control Down Arrow key. Here I will Control Alt Q to a single viewport, 
then control up arrow to a full screen. Now while in full screen, I'll control alt Q to a quad view and then control down arrow to a collapsed view, then control alt Q back to a single 3D viewport. As you can see, learning the many Blender keyboard shortcuts is important to easily controlling your 3D viewport.